In this video series, we're going to examine how to solve compound inequalities. But before we start working with those exercise sets, what we want to do first is look at the definition and the characteristics of compound inequalities. Now, a compound inequality is two simple inequalities joined together. And the way that they can be joined together is either by an and compound inequality or an or compound inequality. Each one has its own characteristic and its own solution graph. So let's first examine an AND compound inequality. The solution space for an AND compound inequality is the overlapping region of the two simple inequalities. It's what they have in common. It has to fit both of the characteristics. For an AND compound inequality, what we want to do is we look at this example to solve what you want to do is perform the operation on the middle. So if we look at this example, we have negative 10 is less than or equal to 3x plus 8, which is less than or equal to 32. So what you want to do is you want to focus on the middle portion. And you have to ask yourself, how do I isolate that variable by itself? And so in this example, I would have to get rid of the positive 8. And so I subtract 8. And you can see that right below it. But what you need to keep in mind is now there's two outsides to the inequality, not just one right side and one left side. We now have a left side of the inequality and a right side. So whatever you do to the middle to isolate the variable, you have to do to both outsides. And so I would subtract 8 from negative 10 and get negative 18. 32 minus 8 is 24. And so that allows me to get rid of this positive 8. And so now I'm just left with 3x in the middle. Well, how would I get rid of my coefficient of 3? I would divide by 3. And so if I do it to the middle, I have to do it to both outsides for it. And so negative 18 divided by 3 is negative 6. 24 divided by 3 is 8. And so this is read as negative 6 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 8. And if we look at the solution space for this, we see it graphed here that we have a closed circle on negative 6, a closed circle on 8, and my solution is in between them. And that should make sense when you look at this compound inequality statement. Your x is between negative 6 and 8, and so your shaded region on the number line is going to be between negative 6 and 8. And so that's an example of an and compound inequality. It's a little bit trickier than what you're probably used to. And I just try and think of focus on the middle. And whatever I would do to isolate this variable, I have to do to both outsides. For some of you that struggle with that concept, it might help to maybe put in some dashed lines. So that way you can know I need to make sure if I put negative 8 here, it goes on the outsides. That might help some of you focus in the beginning with this. So that's an and compound inequality. Let's scroll back up and look at or compound inequalities. The solution space for an OR compound inequality is the combination of the two. It's the first one and the second one together for it. It can be either OR. So to solve a compound OR inequality, what you want to do is just work with each one separately. So if I take a look, I have a setup of an OR compound inequality. It says 3x plus 5 is less than 17, or 4x minus 6 is greater than or equal to 26. Well, these are just two simple inequalities. So I just work with the first one, subtract 5 from both sides, then divide by 3, and I get x is less than 4. Here I would add 6 to both sides, and then divide by 4, x is greater than or equal to 8. And so there, for an or, it's a lot simpler, because it's already separated into the two simple inequalities, which you already know how to solve. To graph, you just look at them both together. You have x is less than 4, so you put an open circle on 4, you have your solution arrow going to the left. X is greater than or equal to 8. Close circle on 8. Solution arrow to the right. One way of remembering what the graphs of ORs majority of the time look like is think of like ORs on a boat. The ORs face outside of a boat when you're rowing for it. That's one way to know. But for an OR, it's very simple. You just work with them separately. For an AND, you focus on the middle. However, you would isolate the variable. You need to do to both of the outsides. So I hope this introduction to the two different types of compound inequalities 
allows you to approach this solving aspect of the next video is a little bit easier.